The Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office determined Los Angeles pitcher Tyler Skaggs died from a lethal mix of alcohol, fentanyl, and oxycodone when he was found unresponsive in a North Texas hotel room while in town to face the Texas Rangers. Skaggs apparently aspirated the contents of his stomach, ultimately causing his death, according to the medical examiner. They also ruled his death accidental. The Skaggs family released a statement that said in part, quote, We are heartbroken to learn that the passing of our beloved Tyler was the result of a combination of dangerous drugs and alcohol. That is completely out of character for someone who worked so hard to become a major league baseball player and had a very promising future in the game he loved so much, unquote. South Lake police found the 27-year-old pitcher inside a Hilton hotel room at 1400 Plaza Place in July, where he was pronounced dead. During the early stages of the investigation, police said they didn't suspect foul play and also ruled out suicide. The South Lake Police Department's investigation into Skagg's death is ongoing. Jeff Petrullis, CBS 11 News.